more on YouTube, friends and family. You ever seen that movie about nuclear holocaust called The Day After? You know, the day after the bomb goes off and the world goes to hell. Enough said, right? Um, you know, there's always winners and there's always losers and sometimes the losers are winners. And um, I feel very strongly that our political system in the United States of America operates just like an organic being, you know? It's always seeking to achieve balance. Am I worried um, that crazy people are running my government right now? I don't know, I'm a little bit concerned, but I know that as that pendulum swings very far to the right, at some point, it's gonna swing back to the left, you know? Uh, and at some point, people are gonna realize that um, the decisions that we've made and the people that we've voted in um, really aren't looking out for the best interests of uh, our country as a whole. But sometimes it takes time to realize that. Sometimes it takes time for people to figure that out. Sometimes it takes time, um, you know, for people to see that the course that we're heading on um, is heading off a cliff. I just hope that we see that before, you know, the cliff comes. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Um, what it underscores for me is that I have to stand up for what I believe in. I have to make decisions that will <clears throat> be the best decisions for me, my family, my friends, my relatives, and people in general. You know, I think that um, something that has been forgotten in this election, especially by those who are going to be in office, is that, you know, we're all people and we have to treat each other with the same respect that we would want to be treated as. So, you know, I know there's a lot of Christians out there that have, um, have, that have voted for Trump and have voted Republican because I don't know, Christians always vote conservative for some reason, and, and you think because you're a Christian you gotta vote conservative. Well, it's very important to remember that the golden rule um, and, you know, the Ten Commandments um, need to be followed by everybody. And just scrutinize your candidate. Does your candidate reflect Christian values? Think about that. I'll let you answer that yourself. Um, I don't know, you know, we just move on, get on with our lives. Ultimately, um, they're playing a game up there and they're gonna continue to play that game in Washington, D.C. And I don't know, we can, you know, sort of guide the rules by which they play their game. But, you know, it just is its own organic being. Like I said, I'm very confident that as in any natural system, when it gets out of balance, it's going to seek to find that balance again. It's just gonna take four years, and that's, you know, and maybe only two years, depending upon how the, con you know, congressional races go in a couple years, but, um, you know, in four years, there's gonna be a lot more younger people voting. Oh, I just realized that in four years, my son Milo will be voting, so, you know, that'll be more, one more vote for the good guy. I try not to get worked up about this stuff because, you know, it really just doesn't serve any purpose. You just gotta accept the results and move on, and I'm glad to see that my candidate has done that. Anyway, thanks for coming with me on my day. And I hope wherever you are, you are healing from this <laughs> catastrophe of an election and that you can get on with your life too. Peace out.
tell you who the real loser is here. It's that bird that just flew by. It's the air we breathe. It's the water I just showed you down at the river. Nature's gonna suffer more than anything over the next two to four years, and depending upon how far the setback is, maybe even longer. You know what? If people decide to mess up other people, then at least it's contained within the world of people, you know? When people make decisions that mess up and harm our planet, that affects everything, not just the people. Something to consider. If the world should be operated as a business, it would have been done to great success long ago. People have an amazing ability to succeed at business, at making money. And I think this election is about people who don't have uh, money in their pockets feeling like a change in the way we govern our country is gonna put more money in their pockets. We have to start rearranging our priorities so that the almighty dollar is not the major motivating factor on how we live our lives on Earth. With other species, with our own species, and until we do that, we're bound to fail. You can't run a government like a business. The sole purpose of a business is to maximize the profit of the business owners. I own a business, I know what that's about. Operating the government like a business existing in the world as a consumer. These things only serve to maximize the profit of those in power or those who own the business. Again, there are very few exceptions to this rule, but there are some notable ones. Therefore, if we were successful operating our government as a business, it would mean that those who are in power will benefit the most. Having a business person or using the business mentality to run the government will only serve to maximize their profit. It's about survival of your species and not survival of your shareholders, right? That's the big difference we're talking about here. We need to set up systems that benefit people and the world they live in, all of them, not systems which benefit those who run the system. Does that make sense? Are you sick of hearing me on my soap? You know, I'm going through like the stages, the classic stages of grief, right? You know, you get uh, shock and then um, you get angry and then you get sad and then, you know, it's like, hey, sooner or later you just gotta, you know, get on with your life, but try to learn from the mistake, okay? So, whether you're a winner or you're a loser today, get on with your life and try to identify where we have made mistakes in the past that have negatively affect all, most or all people, or that have negatively affect the world, affected the world we live in. Identify those mistakes in the coming weeks and see what you can do to help right the wrongs that we have made or inflicted upon ourselves, our neighbors, the people across the pond, or the bubble of air and rock upon which we live. All right? Do, do a favor for me. <laughs> Give that a try. If we all just did a little bit of that in our lives, I think uh, 
it will be a better place, no matter what political party, uh, cultural beliefs, religious inclinations you might have. Man, I've just been reviewing some of the comments from the vlog where I, uh, you know, reacquainted you all with my subscriber map and I realized I missed two very important places uh, that are both Mainers, which is just, how could I miss two of those? Both Fairfield and Waterville, Maine. These towns are like, cities are like 30 minutes from where I live. Hey guys, thanks for watching and subscribing. I'll put you right on the map right now. I'm sorry I forgot you last night. So Godzilla, who did you vote for? Oh, you did? Well, congratulations. Well, I mean, really, what would you expect from a polygamist? I mean, he's got like five wives, that duck. Who wouldn't vote for, you know, who? Getting a delivery tomorrow. I got materials coming tomorrow, so I'm gonna put this sign out. Let the driver know where to go. Milo! What's happening, bud? You got the mail? Yeah. Right on, right on. End of another season, another election season, that is. Time for a season of change, some would say. Fair enough. Uh, silver linings. Most of the ballot issues in Maine passed. Marijuana is now legal, or will be as soon as they, you know, dot the I's and cross the T's. I think everything passed except for um, background checks for certain gun sales. Everything else passed. Increase in minimum wage. Ranked choice voting, wow, that's a big one. The bond issue for so many million dollars in public works. They all passed but one, and um, gosh. We're all glad this day is done. Thanks for coming with me on my day. <laughs> Been a bit of a roller coaster ride, eh? And I'll see you tomorrow. Winter is coming.